it's the worst thing I've seen in my lifetime. Um, I've seen so many images of, of children that, you know, I've got no skin in this game. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not Muslim. I'm, I, I'm, you know, not Jewish. I'm not Israeli. I'm not Palestinian. So I see it, I think, purely from the outside as from a neutral perspective. And I, I, I can't think of anything that I've seen worse in my lifetime. The constant images of children losing their lives day in, day out. Now, obviously, we, we all know what, you know, October 7th happened and, you know, the a mass thing. But the minute you, you know, you, you, you raise your voice against what they're now doing there, um, you know, you get accused of being a supporter of Hamas or, you know, all this kind of stuff. So there is, you know, there's a lot of heavy lobbying on people to be quiet. So I understand why most people um, refrain, but I'm getting on a bit now. Um, I, you know, I, it's, I'm, I'm fairly secure um, and I, I can't be silent about what's happening there. I think it's just, it's so, so utterly awful. And now they're talking about, you know, it already looks like it's happening, going into Rafa, where they've sent everybody down there. So, you know, I, I don't think... You, you can be, you know, it's not anti-Semitic to say that what Israel is doing is wrong. Um, and I, I, I just I just can't see how everybody doesn't see it that way now. For, you know, whatever, whatever the cause, whatever started it, and we all know that, you know, the history of the, the, this area of the world goes way before October the 7th. But it's, it's truly dreadful what's happening. And I, I, I cry on a regular basis when I see certain images on, on social media. Yeah.